how bad was it between Pacioretty and Subban? It wasn't the war. It was just like, well, PK is PK, right? So PK yeah. was is a great, great. Uh, I love PK. Like um, he was, he had a big heart. He was very polite and all that. But PK was PK in a sense of uh, he needed attention. He needed attention so bad all the time, and it did fit well with Patch. So they had many, many arguments. Um, sometimes I could hear them from my office. And uh, it doesn't mean they were fighting every day, but so that was uh, that was like uh, you could you could feel you could tell the difference between the two guys. Some guys were um, they didn't really like the way PK was acting, but they you know they they kind of didn't make a big thing out of it. But Pat just couldn't stand it, I guess. PK had some guys in the room. He had Brandon Prust. He had Dale Weiss. I think he had Alex yep. Galchenyuk. But Pat already thought that. PK was not buying in, and because of that, he was swaying some guys towards him, and Pacioretty, as the captain, wanted everyone to buy in, and he thought that PK was hurting his cause in that respect, right? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe yeah. that's what it is, honestly. I just, I just, I, just I, I can't say for sure, but that's probably what it was. What, what do you think would have happened if PK Subban, it's hypothetical, if he would have been captain? Well, PK is PK, and uh, players voted that year, right? Yeah, players voted that year, and I that from what I hear, there was only one vote for PK, which was probably coming from PK. <laughs> wow, but I don't and, understand how we and Preston and vote for him. Pardon? I because I, I heard the I think it was nineteen to two or something. The vote I uh, heard nineteen two. to two or nineteen to one or whatever. But I, I I thought it was only one. I didn't count the vote, but from what I heard. But uh, but anyways, I mean, players didn't have anything against PK really. But PK, the way it was acting, the way it was acting to be the captain would have been a little bit too much, I think. Do you think that some, as much as he was extravagant and outgoing and had that personality, which was kind of new to hockey players, right? He had a lot of people said he had more of a basketball personality for a hockey player back in the day. Yeah. But do you think that there was also a little bit of jealousy because he had such a huge social media following. He was the darling of big companies and big sponsors. He was making big money. He had that huge contract. Do you think there was a little bit of jealousy? Because I do. Tony, I wouldn't say this. No. Because, because a team is a team. And usually, like hockey players, or I don't know in the other sports, but to me, hockey is my game, right? I've been hockey for so long. Mm -hmm. To me, hockey players, this year team as a team, PK was seeing himself as himself and then the team. So uh, that's the way I see it. Again, mm -hmm. he was very polite, nice guy, but PK was PK in front of everything else. So, and, and in hockey, you have to forget about yourself and think about the team. Like so many great players did over the years, the, uh, the, the Carbono, the Nylons, or those guys, the Bob Gainies, and you, mm -hmm. you can go for two hours. And uh, I believe that's what, that, that's what it was. I mean, PK, he did a lot of nice stuff. Uh, I remember yeah. doing something for hospitals, doing something for kids, but he always had, he always had his TV crew around him filming everything, putting on his website and all that, that was a bothering for everybody. I mean, I had players going to hospitals, to the St. Justine hospitals, visiting kids and stuff like that, and no one heard about it. So PK was always, unfortunately, he had to have his crew with him, had to be on TV, had to be everybody. So when you're a team captain, you don't do that. Hey, Pierre, if you would have had a vote back then, out of all the players on the team, who would you have voted for captain? What? Who would you have voted for captain out of all the players on the team? That year? Yeah. Nobody. Wow. I'm Marinero, and that clip you just watched is from our most recent episode of the Sick Podcast. Once again, follow us on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel 
It's absolutely free, and you'll be notified when we go live. I'm Marinero. Tell your friends about it. This podcast, like me, is pretty sick.